predator is terrorizing Asia. And now it's spreading west at an alarming rate. Asian giant hornets are being blamed for more than 40 deaths in China. Experts say the unusually hot and dry weather is making it easier for these huge hornets to breed. The Asian giant hornet, the world's biggest, as large as a human thumb. They've killed 42 people since July. At least 1,600 people have been injured. The hornet's venom is highly toxic, so powerful that it can dissolve human tissue. More than five stings can cause renal failure. They arrived accidentally and have spread across Europe at an alarming pace. One sting and he was dead. Always the same story. Be careful when you're dealing with hornets. Don't try to start a war with them. But the real threat from these hornets isn't just to us. Asian hornets hunt one of our most vital and commercially important insects, honeybees. And they do it in a gruesomely efficient way. Hornets hover outside the hive, waiting to pick off tired bees as they return from foraging. In an incredible act of predation, they pick them off in midair. Once they catch a bee, they use their powerful jaws to decapitate them. The hornets then fly the headless bee bodies back to their nests to feed their own young. The bees rush out in defense. One by one, they're picked off. More hornets join the attack. The hornets emit a chemical rallying cry, and this triggers a unique phenomenon. They no longer carry bee carcasses back to the nest. Instead, they slaughter, then cast aside the body of every defender they meet. Each warrior can kill up to 40 bees a minute. The European bees outnumber the hornets a thousand to one. 30,000 honeybees have died in three hours, falling victim to just 30 giant hornets. The bamboo battalion is on them. When times are tough, giant killer hornets turn on their own kind. It's like on like. Giant on giant. Claws, stingers, and mandibles. All weapons deployed. And heads will roll. Unlike their cousins, the honeybees, neither their colony nor their nest are designed to stockpile supplies and keep them warm during the cold winter months. They drag live larvae from their cells and dump them outside the nest to die. They no longer need new workers. The precious nursery of developing princesses is ransacked. Next year's queens killed and cannibalized in their chambers. They've even stopped feeding their queen. After giving birth to this colony, she's starved out of her own kingdom and dies after only a year of life. And to think just one fertilized queen could wreak havoc is a chilling reminder that the smallest of stowaways can have a massive impact on the delicate balance of nature. <laughs> 